Hi, it's Whit. Today is Saturday, October 30th, 2021, the Feast of the Blessed Miriam of Kidon. It is morning, and our devotional begins on page 137 of the 1979 Book of Common Prayer. Open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your saving help again, and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our psalm this morning comes from Psalm 55 on page 660 of the Book of Common Prayer. Hear my prayer, O God. Do not hide yourself from my petition. Listen to me and answer me. I have no peace because of my cares. I am shaken by the noise of the enemy and by the pressure of the wicked. And I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove. I would fly away and be at rest. For had it been an adversary who taunted me, then I could have borne it, or had it been an enemy who vaunted himself against me, then I could have hidden from him. But it was you, a man after my own heart, my companion, my own familiar friend. We took sweet counsel together and walked with the throng in the house of God. But I will call upon God and the Lord will deliver me. My companion stretched forth his hand against his comrade. He has broken his covenant. His speech is softer than butter, but war is in his heart. His words are smoother than oil, but they are drawn swords. Cast your burden upon the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous stumble. For you will bring the bloodthirsty and deceitful down to the pit of destruction, O God. They shall not live out half their days, but I will put my trust in you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Nehemiah. When our enemies heard that the plot was known to us and that God had frustrated it, we all returned to the wall, each to his work. From that day on, half my servants worked on construction, and half held the spears, shields, and bows, and body armor, and the leaders posted themselves behind the whole house of Judah, who were building the wall. The burden bearers carried their loads in such a way that each labored on the work with one hand and the other held a weapon and each of the builders had his sword strapped at his side while he built. The man who sounded the trumpet was beside me, and I said to the nobles, the officials, and the rest of the people, The work is great and widely spread out, and we are separated far from one another on the wall. Rally to us wherever you hear the sound of the trumpet. Our God will fight for us. So we labored at the work, and half of them held the spears from the break of dawn until the stars came out. I also said to the people at that time, Let every man and his servant pass the night inside Jerusalem, so that they may be a guard for us by night, and may labor by day. So neither I, nor my brothers, nor my servants, nor the men of the guard who followed me ever took off our clothes, each kept his weapon in his right hand. Here ends the reading. Let us put our joys and concerns before the Lord, either silently or aloud. And now we praise our Lord Jesus Christ taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
Almighty and everlasting God, increase in us the gifts of faith, hope, and charity, and that we may obtain what you promise, make us love what you command. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.